In the flesh. In the room with Dan. <laughs> he's not, he's not in a window. A, he's not just some digital thing that we created. Kind of a brick wall. I think it was just AI, you know, like Chat it's, GPT. Chat yeah. GPT, you know. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, game John. is actually not real. Uh, Cheryl. Yeah. You know, just so you know. Well, oh. I'm a fake person having a great day here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did have uh, some yeah. good stuff. We'll we'll, we'll, talk about it. we'll get into it. We, we'll let we'll let people arrive and no then we'll... fireplace. No, Kyle, left uh, that back in New Hampshire. Oh yeah, you do always have a fireplace there, that's, don't you? That's where I sit. Sit in front of the fireplace. It doesn't work though. That fireplace. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It needs like five grand of work. Oh, it's wrong. Like, I don't know. From head to toe, it's. Oh. Um, Is it one of those where like running a fire in it will actually catch your house probably, on fire? Probably. So <laughs> okay. Yeah. Try. Don't do that. That's probably not a good idea. I haven't tried. <laughs> I haven't used mine either. True. Like, but that's because you're a baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a function of, I don't want to risk him falling into the fire and dying. True. So you only do it once, though. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yes. So, hello everyone. It's Thursday. Um, what up, gents? We are here. We have beer. Yep. Wine, gin. Actually, oh. I did uh, bourbon. Oh, you, you did bourbon. Okay. Bourbon, bourbon. Dr. Pepper. Look at you nice. guys. The, uh, yes, the 430 conversion is done with an asterisk. <laughs> yeah, with an a asterisk. Very big asterisk. <laughs> 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 We've done all that we can do. <laughs> we, we did a full conversion and it, it worked. And it was running. About it 100 drove. miles. 100 miles. Wow. 100 miles. Yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> Story time. Story time. <laughs> Story time with Steve and Dan. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but like converting a car takes a lot of parts. I like, don't believe you. I think it's 138 parts, of which EAG now is producing um, almost all of them. Almost all of them. Except. And, well, so for a long time, they were using Ferrari OEM shift cables because they actually weren't terribly expensive and whatever. Yep. Um, but they wanted to get away from that because Ferrari is getting more and more difficult and uh, you just can't get them anymore. Like you can't get the OE shift cables anymore. They just, they're becoming unobtainium. Um, the lead times were getting longer and longer the costs have gone up like fourfold uh, since they started doing this. So it just kind of was like, yeah, they need to find an alternative. So they found an alternative and had some prototypes made and they were wonderful and arguably better than OE. They uh, were really well designed. And so they ordered a lot of them. Like, so you gotta you gotta remember like when when EAG is doing this stuff, you can't do it in quantities of like one or two or even ten. You're doing it in quantities of hundreds, right? Because that's the only way to make it cost effective. Yeah. So like all these people who think that this is like some like easy thing to accomplish, and why I get so frustrated when people are like, oh, it shouldn't be that expensive. It's like this is taking millions of dollars. Um, anyway, so they ordered many hundreds of these things and they came in and they don't work because they aren't made to the same spec that they originally the samples made were them. yeah so much so, for samples um yeah they're, they're not the same as the samples yeah. so 
Steve's car was the first one with the new shift cables, and we found that out the hard, the hard way. way. So it, it to answer Cheryl's question, it drove great. It's a rape tape with the new tune and for about a hundred miles. For about a hundred miles, and then the cable stretch, which we expected. Um, you know, they have to have a set. They they get a set, and then you readjust them, and then you know we were having our teach us to do the fine adjustments. We had done the rough and gotten it working, and it was shifting into every gear and. And it started to stretch, and I was having problems downshifting into a gear every once in a while. And he's like, no problem, just bring it in. And he was doing it, and he, he, he got it all adjusted, and then he's sitting in the car shifting it, and he looks at me, and he's like, something's wrong. And then he starts fooling with it, and he thinks it's in the car. And he gets a wrench out. He starts tightening up the box. He goes, I didn't fix it. He goes, this, no, there's something fucking wrong. He goes, go in the back and look. Tell me what's, what, how much is moving while he does this little. He's, there was slop in the, in the cable. And then as soon as I was like, no, man, it's not moving at all. He fucking bolted into the office and tore open a package of cables and looked at them and saw what the problem was. It has like an extra three eighths inch of fucking play that isn't moving anything. And it's due to a clearance issue between the cable sheath and the cable itself, unfortunately. Yep. So um, just a batch flaw. It's a batch flaw. It's not a design flaw. The cables were awesome. They looked OEM in every regard. They they're from an OEM cap. They're from an OEM manufacturer. They produce cables for cars. It's not like this off shop or something like that. Yeah. It's just Uh, that they used a different cable or a different sheath on the batch. Something they did is different than the sample. The samples. Because the samples are perfect. In fact, the sample, one of the samples is in one of the cars of a client and it's working great. Working great. And, and it was, we, it was one hell of a hundred mile fun though. <laughs> it was. <sighs> but yeah, at a caution, um, Art said, let's not drive your car. Let's get the cables right. Yeah. We'll get it no reason right away, to risk so. the transmission. Last thing you need to do, right? Have it not be fully in gear and yeah. Uh, yeah. blow out the synchros or something. It's just not worth it. So unfortunately, there's no way to fix the cables. Um, we 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 spent an entire day just trying to see if there's a way to salvage them, because um, you're talking about a huge amount of money sitting there and time. I mean, this they took months to get here, and so I don't know how long hopefully, it's going to take. Hopefully, it won't be months to rectify. Yeah. But, hopefully, they fix it right away and put yeah. it to the front of the order list. Yeah. This is the this is the kind of stuff that's like beyond frustrating. Like they yep. they had two big kicks in the teeth this week. Um, that was one of them. The other one was they placed an order. We'll just put it this way: the order is for well over a hundred thousand dollars in material, and like not the first number is not a one. <laughs> <laughs> And um, after having this order placed, paid for everything for over a month, I think they said a month and a half, the manufacturer just comes back and goes, yeah, we can't complete this order. Jesus. Like, no, we're just, they gave up. They just straight up were like, can't do it. And so like, (laughs) okay. So they have to go find an alternative for that, um, which takes time and money and whatever. So, um, you know, it's like, it's tough because like they've made, let's, let's be real. They've made some mistakes and they get a lot of grief for those mistakes and they deservedly get some grief for those mistakes, but they're trying to do something extremely difficult. Yeah. And then the yeah. supplier issue is certainly not their fault, but they get shit for that oh. too. Hello, sir. We got a visitor here. Come here. Come here. Uh, changing the cables out is uh, actually not difficult. It's just we got to pull the seats out again, pull the center console, console apart. You know, it's just time consuming. The actual cable installation uh, is relatively easy with two guys. One guy, it's tough, but two guys, it's it's okay. Yeah. No, can't have the microphone. It's all clean after his bath. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm all. He's wearing like his little uh, surfer dude shirt. No, oh, yeah, yeah, very good. So no, unfortunately, like getting. I mean, yes, we could order some OE cables, but the problem is getting them. The time frame to get them, all that stuff is probably as long as getting the big batch order. Yeah. Okay, you, you're squirming, worming here. 
I'm drooling. I'm drooling on it. <laughs> well, you just. He's like, oh, yeah, and off he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. Running, running, yeah. running. He, he can open doors. Can he close them? Uh, <laughs> dad, dad, dad. Oh, yeah. That's his first word, by the way. At, it's dad, dad, dad. <laughs> Meg is very happy about that. Yeah. No, 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 she's sad. <laughs> he just he just busted in. He opens the door, he throws it open, comes on over here. Say <laughs> hi, Thursday everybody. night. Yeah, he already came. He's gonna in make an appearance. Yeah, with the hardcore fans. Yep. And now he's doing that weird spit thing. Gross. Okay, Bob. Ah, yes, little kiddos. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's been frustrating because we thought for sure the car would be just done, and yep. it kind of was, but then, yep. you know, it's nothing we could do about that. So yep. we'll get the new part. And the thing that I'm frustrated about is I really, really wanted to show how to adjust the cables because that's something that's never been shown on, on YouTube um, or discussed, really, how to do it. And so we were going to do that, and... Yeah, we're gonna have to wait right now it's probably gonna be a month before we do that so so unfortunately like i've got all the the uh, there's 11 parts for the series part 12 will be like a month away oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the follow-up <laughs> yeah the follow-up so yeah it is what it is um a little bit frustrating but you know yeah. i mean it is part of this is part of why um they wanted like me and Hoovy to do yeah. early five and nine conversions because again like they're trying to really dial these things in and do stuff that no one else is really doing so it's you know it's difficult yeah. right and then they need they need cars to have miles put on them they need yeah, to be gotta drive them. right like you gotta drive them at least yeah yep. right yeah <clears throat> So, anyway. <laughs> I mean, hopefully they'll get to a point where you don't have to drive them a couple hundred miles after, where you can just do a quick neighborhood test, you know? Yeah, I mean, the cables are going to stretch. I think the cables are going to, I mean, that's just part of the, the nature of are it. Are they going to reach a point where they stop stretching? Yeah, yeah. They, get, they get a set. Yeah, they and stretch and then they're kind of okay. good. And it, so that 100 mile, maybe, give or take? It seems like, I mean, they need a couple heat cycles. They usually, yeah. mm. Art usually test drives the cars for a couple heat cycles, I don't know if he puts a hundred miles, but he probably shifts it a ridiculous number oh, yeah. of times. Yeah, mm. you know, yeah like, he's always slamming through the gears. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's fun. That's the one of the things I love is people who bitch that he's like, why is why is it shifting so hard? Yeah, it's like, you wanna, do you want him to sit there and like be like, eh, either that or you're eh, the eh, eh, you know, yeah. like it's not going to help it. <laughs> so you get it home and you shift it a few times and it yeah. stretches. Great. I didn't yeah. change out the valve cover gaskets; they were fine. In retrospect, we should have just done it. We should have done spark plugs and coils, spark too. Spark plugs and mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Big paragraph. There's a lot that goes into R&D. There's a lot in logistics, especially now. Then you have all the test fitting, all the assembly, the disassembly, the reassembly that comes with along, uh, comes along with it. Lots of trial and error. I've been wrenching since childhood, oh, like almost 30 years. I didn't do so for a living, but I know the headaches, small scale and driveway, mid scale business or full scale manufacturers all have the same issues in common. Same goes for anything mechanical, not just automotive. That's just yeah. what many people simply don't understand. Thank you so much. That is yeah. actually one of the most thoughtful paragraphs. <laughs> you yeah. get it. You're like, yes, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> so how does, um, random question you might not know the answer, how does uh, it work for Porsche or whatever that's buying those cables from the same supplier? Like, how, do, how does theirs not stretch? Um, it doesn't matter because they're not gated. Oh, so the problem is, is big problem. the gating means everything has to be absolutely precise. And when it stretches to the point where now you're touching the gate, then you have to adjust it to get it back in line. Okay. So these cables would have been absolutely fine for any non-gated application because there'd been a little bit of flop that you wouldn't really have noticed because yeah. it's not in a gate. And it just would have meant you had to go three eighths of an inch further mm. or a quarter. Yeah, you got to remember that further. like the gate determines the shifting. Yeah versus a typical car it's not there's no gate it's just the transmission the transmission forks actually yeah. that, makes, that yeah. makes total sense yeah, yeah. Keeps okay. flying around my face 
<laughs> They're out everywhere. There's gnats all over. Oh, man. Jeez. Um, someone asked, uh, Dan, do you know anyone in the F40 market? Not at the moment. I mean, I mean Fred's still looking. Not at the moment. No, he's not. Mm. So in um, I guess we might as well stick on the gated topic. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about some fun stuff. Yeah, so Tim was a uh, good yeah. day. Good day in the gate. Especially world. for him. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe got to Texas and he checked the gate. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. For, first time driving a manual Ferrari and first time driving a gated manual car. So two firsts today. 355, drove yep. that, the yellow one. Yep. Ho- Hoobie's old one. Fun as hell. Like, <laughs> just great. And then we tracked out, we went to the to EAG to see the uh, the 360, the one you guys are aware of that yeah, Josh well, just posted the video on. And, you know, I've heard a lot about the 360. I've never driven a 360. <clears throat> and so I was curious, maybe in the market. And, I just drove it around basically a storage facility parking lot, which are like small streets. Steve was in the car with me and I was blown away. Like I was so pleasantly surprised based on all the talk they have about 360s. This was manual. So like that, that changes things. Right. But it was awesome. So long story short, I'm seeing how I can get it. <laughs> in, oh, Josh is there. Oh, there's Josh. Yeah. He pulls out. He pulls out of the of the storage area. I'm like, go right. He goes right. He's in first gear. Fucking slams it into second gear. It goes clink. And he goes, sold. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking giggling the whole time. He was cracking up the whole rest of the ride. It was great. So we were just doing laps around this storage thing. The sound was reverberating off the, the walls. Dan was there with Monica. What car are you talking about? The 360. The 360. The 360. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I come around once. Dude, he comes around a couple of times, and then he drives by real slow. He goes, one more lap. <laughs> <laughs> and just guns it. I'm like, okay. I was, I was, nice. I mean, shocked is a strong word. I never driven a 360, but like the 35, it was so much faster than the 355. Yeah. I did not expect that. Two gated cars, Oops. you know, the successor. I was picturing like, eh, marginally quicker. No, it felt, it was so punchy. Hmm. And so I loved it. Yeah. Cheryl, Cheryl, we've all been saying that all day. All day. (laughs) So Josh tells me about a lender and then he asked me later, he's like, how did you like the car? And I was like, I'm, I'm calling the lender now. Like that was my answer. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Nice. My camera's so, messing up again. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a great day for uh, in the uh, the gated driving world today for me. I mean, of that, of of the three sixties we've seen is one of the yeah, it's clean, best. Red on tan, resale red. Yeah, it's yeah. A really nice condition really car. It's just so clean, and so it's, good, and it's completely dialed in. Yeah, there's nothing well, you it, have to do. They need to adjust it. the yeah. shift cables. Well, and, that, but I mean, but yeah. You know, clutch is done, cooler yeah. is done, awesome. the belts Everything. are done, the biggest yeah. thing. Yeah, trans mount, engine mounts, uh, what else do they do? New brakes, new... I sent Gabe the invoices that EAG oh, yeah. sent the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Of everything EAG did. Yeah. yeah. I just it's couldn't it. believe how much quicker it was in 355. Oh, it's way faster. Way more it's torquey. Crazy. Way more yeah. torquey. Yeah. That's because it's got the var- variable intake valve timing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, since you haven't driven an F1, there's right. F1 such a night and day difference between yeah. like the th- even like the throttle response and everything right. feels yeah. so much better when you have the manual. Just yeah. getting a ride in Steve's Steven, car, it was like yeah. this feels Steve faster. Probably, yeah, yeah, Steve yeah. can probably attest to that. It feels yeah. faster, even though like it's it feels not like it revs faster, faster too. So wound yeah. Up. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we'll see. Just stay tuned. No problem. I emailed. I emailed them for you, Gabe, and she said she's gonna reach out to <laughs> oh, you. Oh, I talked to Debbie. We had a good conversation. Oh, she oh, did. Okay, good. We were uh, sitting there during dinner, and Austin's like, "Oh wait, I think this is Debbie." I, <laughs> I emailed her and I said, "Please call Gabe." I mean, nice. had a, she was from the town that my uncle lives in in Texas, so we had kind of a little connection. Oh, nice. So, anyways, stay tuned, guys. You know. No <laughs> No pressure. No pressure. Yeah. It no, it's it no pressure. I, that's no, the hard I thing. It's like, be, I don't want to pressure friends to buy right, cars right. for me. So I, I'm like, how do I play this? Well, the thing like, is about this car, Dan, is we're not making anything on it. Right. True. Yeah. True. We're not. We're just helping out the guy that bought it from us. So, yeah. I mean, 
I, I do feel better about that, and I do feel good about the condition of the card. Like, yeah, I don't want to sell. Like, I don't want to sell a bad card to anyone, but I really don't want to sell a bad card to a friend. Yeah, yeah. Because last thing I want is a friend being like, "Well, because then, dude, right? I mean, yeah, because yeah. you don't want the calls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't want the calls. No nope. here and there, but not every no week. kidding. Yeah. yeah. So, oh man, let me tell you, it's been a a weird week. So we've got. The uh, 458 on the way. Oh. Right? We've got the new 458 coming. It'll By the way, here, yeah. it'll be here Saturday. <clears throat> yeah. Did you shoot out and look at it? Yeah, I went to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was there on Sunday. <sighs> wow. And uh, yeah. I went out there. I'd never been there. I, I kind of drove around and checked it out, but I met the guy and checked the car out and talked to him for a while. And he's a cool dude and took meticulous care of the car. So, and it's a pretty cool spec. It's a Rasa Scuderia, um, 13,000 mile car with a bunch of carbon and Alcantara and stuff. So it's, that was the color of Venn's 430, yeah. right? Rosa yep. Scuderia. Yeah. It's like, a, it's got maybe it's just like a drop of orange in it compared to the, the regular red. Nice. Yep. How much? Um, I think it's going to be like two twenty-five. All right, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> it's clean. I mean, it is. It's really low mile, and it's really pretty nice. The guy just spent eight grand and did all the uh, sticky RX. Did all of the sticky buttons. Um, it has Alcantara. <laughs> all the carpets in the car are Alcantara. There's no carpet in it. It's all I mean, right oh there. wow, really oh. cool. Oh, that's almost like the piece of floor. Yeah. 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 yeah kind of. It's, it's a, um, it's a good car. It's hmm. got carbon in the dash and all the vents and everything are all carbon and it's nice. got PPF on the front. Um, it's got the nice two tone five spoke diamond wheels, yellow calipers. Actually, I, I probably have a picture of it on my phone. Hmm. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get some pictures. Of It'll be a good car for somebody. It'll be a really good car. Yeah. for somebody. Nice. Like, you know how we, we, Keep saying, yeah. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Let's see if I have one in the front. I mean, the pictures aren't great, but nice. There you go. It's really more your camera is not great. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a four five eight. So I missed that. Did you buy it yet? Yeah, yeah. I already bought it. Okay. It's it's on a truck right now. Oh, yeah. It's on a truck. Yeah. Should be here Saturday. Yeah. So we got that going. We've got. The 355 is obviously for sale. Yep. Still have the Huracan. And uh, we've got the parts to fix the 456, we think. Oh, cool. So we got to get that done. Um, I don't know if you want to do that while I'm gone or you want to wait till I get back, Josh. It's up to you. On what? The 456. I'll probably work on it when you're gone. Okay. If you want I mean, to take that out. I can probably knock it out in a day. What was it? It's, it's supposed to I be in like a six hour. Take off and take some stuff off and there's some pipes underneath all of that that need to one of them broke and it's leaking mm. coolant. so yeah. i'll probably grab the parts from you or you can leave them in your garage and i'll grab them and do it while you're gone maybe we okay. can uh facetime while you fix your coolant leak in that and i do in my miata <laughs> <laughs> well the miata, the miata you can have the engine out of in an hour so right right, right? yeah there's nothing there <laughs> just pull it out with tweezers yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> Need on those pliers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah, be yeah. realistic. So we got those two. Uh, five seven five. Five seven five. I think it's going to be a couple months. Which I think we need to have a coming to Jesus moment, Josh. Do we wait on that, you know, or do we just put it back to F one? Putting it back is going to be a big pain in the butt. It is. I mean, Art owes us for that, I guess. So we should probably try to get it done. Yeah. I mean, we took the transmission out already. Yeah. But I don't want to put, put that Well, we out. got a new clutch for it. So, I mean, it needs, needs a new clutch. Yeah. Just, uh, I really don't want to do that. No. I That's think fair. we just need to try to nail them down and just go over there for a couple days. And well, it's them. not nailing them down. It's they need to get parts manufactured. I thought all the 575 parts were there. They had most of them, but they realized some of them were not right. <laughs> Again, to the whole like, yeah. so easy, right? So, so easy. easy. So just easy. Press a button. It's so difficult. Just, button. So just easy. press a button. I love uh, all those clowns. 
I don't understand why it's taking so long. Yep. Uh, John, the McLaren's been great. It's, it loves the exhaust. It sounds good. It. Oh, I didn't get to see it today, Todd. Oh, that's right. Shit. Yeah. You're here for a week. We got. We, we got this. All right. You need to see the four five or the four eighty eight that I've got here too with the client exhaust. Oh, too. did you get the wheels off? Yeah. Oh, you did. Are they at the place? Yeah. Oh, next, nice. I'll get them back next week. Is that the uh, the That's, black one? Yeah. 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 I want to hear them side by side. That's what... dude. That thing's. Mm. We make a trip out to Josh's yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. That thing's really, really, really nice. It is. I, I really you dig that. Like off. That actually, we should. That would yeah. be good. That'd be fun. Oh, exhaust between the 488 and the McLaren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. film them at the same time. Yeah. Of course, well, one the 48's got no cat, so it'll win. But huh. true, That's true. What's well, yeah. your fault? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> However, just just to, as I like a pat on my own back on loudness, Steve's sitting here going, "I got to figure out how to put cats back in this fucking car." <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it's loud. 30. <laughs> The game yeah, telephone yeah, the little fundraiser here. Yeah. Nice. I is like it too loud, Steve? It, no, it, it listen, it's loud. I, it, John. I, I I want to put sport cats in it just to take the tone down a little bit and take yeah. the smelliness away a little bit. Like yeah. it's tuned without it, so it, I don't, you don't have like to worry the smell about of, it. you don't like that smell? <laughs> uh, I have the super legera for that. Okay. I have my I have I have my lawnmower for that. Fair so. enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I have my turboed Harley for that. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a pollutant man. Mm. <laughs> oh, lordy! I love that smell, though. I mean, I I actually really like the smell of the three five five. So the three five five is old enough that it doesn't have the same emission stuff on it. Yeah. And so, being a spider, we're driving around all day with the top down, and every time mm-hmm. you really get it, like when you're on it hard all the positive crate case ventilation is just going to atmosphere, right? So you get that like particulated oil scent. Yep. yep. <laughs> and it's very distinct. And you're just like, I don't like that smell. I, I mean, it's a weird smell, but I kind yeah. of, I like it only because I'm like, it you smells like an old car. Yeah. 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 The whole time we were driving it back from Wichita, I'm, I'm going to Josh. I'm like, I'm, I'm smelling oil, man. I'm, I yeah. think there's an oil leak. <laughs> I'm smelling true. oil. <laughs> yep. Um, it is, the yeah. smell takes over the house. <laughs> yeah, that's why Steve doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is it's strong. Like it. Yeah, we've got... Oh, man, we got those. Uh, what else? No update from the HOA yet. I submitted my really pathetic drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I should upload this. You should, should. Upload. yeah. Okay, I'll, see I'll, it. I'll, I'll upload it's it. Hold on. As long as there's no addresses or anything on it. Oh, yeah, let me double check that. Hold on, it's uploading. I'll double check that real quick. I don't dox yourself here. Yep. Well, it has... Hmm. Street name? No, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll edit it real Can quick. Can you crop it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to crop it. Because it's got... It's, got, uh, it's not as uh, rudimentary whatever. as I expected. <laughs> yeah there okay oh i see okay yeah hold on you can show where the old one is what i like that kyle that's good <laughs> needs to be uh a little more than a hundred dollars though yeah <laughs> all right there takes more to grease some palms in texas <laughs> yeah let me delete not, that not one. as bad as new mexico though no yeah not as bad as new mexico but <laughs> There, it had it had the GPS coordinates of my house. Uh, which, yeah, some you know how it is. Someone would look it up. Someone on the internet will figure it out. They always do. Yes, I'm gonna double check it one more time before I publish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you publish the correct one too. <laughs> yep, we're good. Okay, there you go. You gotta explain a little bit. So, all right. Um, Obviously, the big thing in the the big blob at the top is my house, and then you can see the uh, pool. And then, if you look to the right, you see right below where it says septic alarm. It has a box that is the garage, uh, approximately. That's the proposed proposed garage. Yep. You can is that see the small size, 
The this new small uh, 24 by 45. Okay. The show where the old one would have been. The old one would have been way down at the bottom yeah. uh, to the right of where it says septic field area. I thought you were going to ask for the bigger one first. Um, they're not going to approve it. Right, so you're and actually, wasting time. yeah. And I talked to my neighbor, and my neighbor said he that they didn't really want to see that. And so I'm like, fine. You know, like I, I actually respect that more than I respect the HOA saying no. Yeah. Like oh, your neighbor didn't want. They said they, they didn't like that it would block some of their view, and I'm like, oh, that's fine. The ones over to the right block their view of the neighbor behind them, or. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. They said they didn't like the idea of it. So whatever. I'm not going to like, you know, I don't want to piss off a neighbor who actually has to deal with it. Yeah. yeah. So not, like, not one two blocks away. Right. Exactly. Not one right. that has nothing other than they drive right. by and see it occasionally. Yeah. yeah. So I, like as soon as they said, no, they don't really like the idea of it. I said, fine, that's no, no problem. I'm not going to do it. Um, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, 24 by five, uh, 45 set five feet from the back of the house obviously new concrete um i'll have to get a new gate i mean i don't know why they would say no to that because yeah. it's bigger than the precedent yeah that's it's what 150 precedent? feet bigger the square foot than it's 150 the square feet bigger than everything else than the than the biggest one and the biggest one there so what Exactly. Is there, a rule, is there a rule that says that it no, can't be? <laughs> there is nothing in the covenants that say. Yeah, so they have like, nothing to. No, so what, what, what I basically on. what I basically told Meg is, I'm like, look, I'm giving this one last chance. I compromised hard. Yep. I came down in size massively. I only have one garage door. I added windows. I moved the position of the house. I did everything they want except for it is 150 feet larger than what they said is precedent. But there's nothing that says I can't do that in the covenants. So I looked it up, and legally they would get their asses kicked if I were to hire a lawyer. Yep. I don't want to hire a lawyer, but I absolutely will hire a lawyer if they say no. Because the difference in cost of this garage is so much smaller well, that I would have a lot of extra money to the hire HOA a lawyer. HOA doesn't have any money. They're no, the HOA has no it. money. They're not yeah. going to fight it. No, if if it comes to that, they're not going to fight it. Yeah. I don't. Why would they? There's no like, it's five feet bigger than the next biggest. You have a bunch of old retired people probably running the HOA with nothing uh, else. No, to I do. met everyone who's there. They actually had the uh, annual meeting last night, and I met pretty much everyone who was oh, on. Did you go? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to meet you know, everyone. Board to go. No, no. <laughs> So you're amicable. Yeah, did you make some heads roll at the HOA meeting? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Like I said, I'm trying to be very pleasant and be very polite until I am not getting at least something, right? Well, I mean, I think every resident would want you or anyone to stick up for like what the bylaws are, right? The problem the problem I have is nothing's written down. Mm. Like it's the bylaws are opinion. It's extremely vague. And I think that's not a good that's plan. First problem, yeah. yeah, like that was not a good idea because it leaves it open to interpretation, which means yep. it leaves it open to lawsuits. Because as soon as it's open to interpretation, it's not written down. It's yeah. someone's opinion versus another person's opinion versus whatever. And so they, um, I was reading about, and they call it selective enforcement. Basically, there, there's a lot of... Yeah legal cases of HOAs getting their asses kicked because it wasn't written down and it became opinion. And so it becomes, well, it's selectively being enforced against this particular homeowner without any sort of real justification. Yep. Yeah. So the problem is too, is you probably have some guys that are maybe not on a power trip, but have something to say about it. And they're just like, Oh, you know, they're not going to like that. You're challenging them. Hopefully you don't have that, but I can see that happening. Like you said, I submitted that picture. I gave, I said three options. I said, look, because they, they can't, they were supposed to meet with me today and they canceled, which I'm a little bit peeved about because I'm like, you guys had a week. You, you set the time. I left it open. I said, anytime you want. And they set this time and then they had to cancel, which I get it. Stuff comes up, whatever. It's life. But I'm a little bit frustrated because now we're three weeks behind. Yep. Right. So I'm losing another week. Plus, I'm going to be gone next week. So probably two weeks, really. 
So that means I'm going to be five weeks behind, which is getting to where I'm getting pissed off. Um, and so I gave him three options. I said, look, like, I understand people are busy. I can meet anytime any of you are available. We don't have to meet as a group, right? Another option is, um, like, we could reschedule. If everyone can make it work, great, let's do that. And the third option is, here's a picture of what I want. Feel free to discuss this. Mm -hmm. And they did say, they said they're going to discuss it and get back to me and um, see if they need to meet or not, right? Yep. My, my biggest thing is I don't want to release that design to my my builder to redesign everything until it's approved because otherwise I'm going to be spending money to have them redesign something and then redesign it again and redesign Because we're already on two designs now because they already canceled the first designer, you know, put the kibosh on it. So I had him start a second design and then I realized I didn't want that second design. So now this is my third design. So yeah. I'm just losing thousands of dollars in, in design costs at this point. It's, you know, I'm a cheap ass that pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, you're giving me PTSD from the gaggle of Hitler Karens I had to deal with in New Mexico. So <laughs> <laughs> just say Hitler Karens. <laughs> Yes, uh, the gaggle of them. A gaggle. Yeah, yeah the, this is this is. Like I said, I'm trying to play nice. I really have no interest in being an asshole. I don't want to burn the bridge yeah. with people. But you can play dirty if we need to play dirty. But, no but at the same time, I bought the house wanting to build a garage, and I read the yeah. HOA covenants before I moved it. Before I signed any contracts, yeah. I I made sure that I could build a garage, and nothing was in there about what I'm trying to do. Yeah. And so that to me is pissing me off and that arguably think, opens yeah. them up to potential legal issues if they won't play nice. If anything, they're playing dirty. Like, yeah. Well, they're, 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 they're playing right. opinion. Right. It's opinion at this point. And that's the problem is it's all opinion. It's not on paper. So anyway, I really, like I said, I really don't want to go there. That's not the plan. The plan is just, let me have the dumb garage. It's not like no one. You cannot tell from where it's positioned oh. the size of the garage because the way that it's yeah. like my house will block the entire one side of it. You will not see it. Yep. The other side of it, the steepest angle you'll get is blocked by the other people's house. So you can't tell that it's a big garage. Yeah. How'd you calculate that operating cost there, Josh? <laughs> um, I mean, the 12C is going to have more issues. And but yeah, it's but not going to have but, the belts every five but years. But you won't have to do the belts, the belts every five are, years. The belts are 1500 bucks, two grand every if three, three to five years. That's nothing. That's True. if you yeah. do it yourself. No, that's if, I, that's if you pay someone to do it, two grand. Okay. Just because a 360 is access door and you, you don't have to yeah. pull really? the engine? You don't have to pull well, the engine. When I, got, when I had my 360, I paid... <laughs> yeah. I paid Brian Crawl to do mine, which is a really good Ferrari tech in Austin. He charged me two grand to do it. You're wow. serious? Yeah. But that was it's not that much. Job. It's but not. How long hard. ago was that? It's not a hard job. It's not a hard job, yeah. but it's two grand seems way too cheap. That does seem cheap. That's what he charged me. I mean, this is like 2017 or something, 2018. Oh, okay. I got plenty. What do you want? Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I don't know. The 12C, if something breaks on it. And yeah. you're not you're not a DIY guy. Oh, they lock us out. Oh, okay. you know it's going to cost you. If that's you can true, fix yeah. stuff yeah, yourself, I would say they're probably pretty similar. That, that's what I was thinking. That's why I asked. Yeah. But yeah, if you pay, if you're paying someone, the McLaren will definitely be more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> well, the McLaren has issues like you know the the uh, AC panel things in the doors. Yep. Stuff like that. I mean, those are expensive to fix. The 360 has like sticky buttons and stuff like that, but not really any electronic issues that are common. Yep. The interesting thing to me would be what's the 12C going to do as far as depreciation or appreciation versus the 360? I mean, yeah. long term, I think the 360 is going to hold its value. I feel better. like oh, I well. feel like a 360 is going to keep going yeah. up in value. Because yeah. there'll be a point in time when the 12C, you know, is so expensive to fix that people aren't going to want them anymore. Well, it's going to become like the 355, right? Where it's going to become yeah. cheap. Yeah. Yep. Really cheap. 
Yeah, pretty and, cheap and will they ever come back if they hit that bottom? Like, I don't know that they would, right? They're just they're too computer driven. It's like, hard. Yeah. It's a hard thing to figure out, yeah. right? It's it's tough to say. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's part of the problem is there's they're new. They're, there's well, no the, the thing about the 360 too is everything is known on that card. Like any problem True. that car could yeah. possibly have, it's, it's documented. documented somewhere, and there's parts to fix it. Whereas yeah. that's, 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 that's that's right like, there, <laughs> that's the big thing to me. Yeah. You can get the parts for the 360 easy, and, and you can pretty much do anything you need to do on that car yourself if you're mechanically inclined. Yeah. Yeah, interesting thing is the twelve Cs have actually come up in value. They peaked and they're back down. You can get them under a hundred now. Again, yeah. yeah, they're out there. There's several of them out there. God, it's such a screaming deal. It is. It's a lot of car for the money. Wanna, yeah, if you want a car to have fucking blast in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for under a hundred grand. Yeah. Doesn't have the sound of a Ferrari though. No, no. it's missing yeah. that. But you know, yeah. For under a hundred grand? Yeah, no, it's a bargain for under a hundred. <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. They're so cheap. You just buy another. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> He's like, whatever. I got two twelve Cs. One's a parts car. I love the other it. problem too is, you know, a lot of that. Like, if a computer goes out or something, you got to mm-hmm. have that paired to the car again. And unless you have McLaren software to do that, you're going to take it to the dealer. Yeah, they're going to they're going to rip your face off. Well, that's an interesting idea. Will the Z06 engines like? Start buying Ooh. the Z06 engine and swapping into stuff. Huh. Then you make hmm. it slower than it is. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, That's true. Usually you put, a, you put a you put an LS in to make it faster, not slower. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But you know, it'd be fascinating. It's like something like a three five five. You could throw yeah. a, the new well, Z06 that, that car would be a lot of fun with an LS in it. <laughs> could you imagine that? <laughs> oh, Dan, you got to put up seatbelts comment. Uh, what? I and don't remember. Millionaire f- doors. Yeah. Well, but I don't. I don't remember if I mentioned this after the oh, that was good. the horseshoe yacht club drive that Ferry Boston did. But one of the he's in the Ferry Club. I've met him before. I just forget his name. I parked next to a forty eight at the airport hangar, and I'm yeah. opening the door. He's getting out, and he goes, "You know, if you would have paid a little more, you get doors that open right." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, you got me." <laughs> nice. It was good. It's a good burn. Uh. Man, I'll tell you what, I've been dealing with some seriously annoying people trying to sell this damn Lamborghini. It is, I told Josh, I said, I I don't want to sell any more Lamborghinis. Then you it's, were trying to convince me to buy one earlier today. <laughs> I was, I know. I was, I'm a sucker for, I. what can I say? I'm a sucker for B12s. Oh, well, yeah, if you're getting an Aventador, I don't blame you. It was an Aventador, but it's... No? It's not cheap enough. Mm. Yeah, it's not quite there. But it's close, but mm, too much. Too much. It's t- it ties up too much money with the interest and with how much difficulty we've been having trying to sell Lamborghinis. I just yeah, like it. It's just it's um the the biggest thing is the social context of a Lamborghini, right? Mm. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some things that are not going to be taken well by people who are not in the car world so i'm, you know, I'm just gonna put that out there yeah. uh, i'm not trying to be an asshole i'm just trying to be it, it is what it is it's real right this is just my experience is um society has put lamborghini up on this pedestal as like the default i've finally made it and got money car right the problem is the people who have that mentality are the people who don't have the money, right? Yeah. So when you're trying to sell a Lamborghini, you've got the wannabes who don't have any money playing stupid games because of that car. So, I, I mean, it is shocking the number of straight up bullshit offers and scammers and what do you do for a living and completely unrelated to actually buying the car people Why are they asking you what you do for a living Here because we own know. it but they don't know that yeah they just see the car what do you do for a living oh my god how'd you afford that 
And like, so that stuff, it's just been outrageous. I mean, literally every single day I get at least three. Wow. Crazy. At least three. That's tough. Like, it is just, it's just, it's so annoying because it's, it, it makes me, what's what I fear is going to happen is I'm going to turn off a real buyer by being an asshole because I, I have to deal with, like, you have to try and figure out, is this person actually going to buy this car or not? Right. And you don't know until you get certain cues or certain yeah. things. And so one of the common things that's happening right now is they just start off the conversation with, can I come see it? <laughs> the first thing they ask, can I come see the car? And I'm like, no yeah. one's, no one's ever, literally no one ever has asked that yep. except for on this Lamborghini. Hmm. No one ever, no one ever has bought our cars. And the first thing they ask is, can I come see the car? Because the reality is, if you're actually going to buy the car, you know you can come see the car. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a, a point. given. It is a right. part of the buying process. Yeah. So by asking for me, permission to come see the car, you are not buying the car. You're full yeah. of shit. Right? Yeah. Give you a down payment and say, I'm flying out to see it. Yeah. Right. Right. Like if you're going to buy the car, you know, you will come see the car at some point if you choose to. So asking to come see the car is a is not even a negotiation yeah, point is say, there. It is just a fact. That. So I, what, what we started doing is we started just telling them straight up. Um, you must have a deposit on the car. I need a picture of your driver's license and I need a proof of insurance before you can take and see the car. You go weeds them out pretty quickly. And they shut up. Them. They just yeah. shut up. But they, uh, that oh. is just chafing, annoying, whatever. And then my favorite is, okay, like for all of you who are um, not actually buying a car and you're trying to play some dumb game or whatever, let me give you a hint. If you think you need to somehow prove how much money you have, you don't have the money to buy the car. Yep. Because literally no one who has real money has ever, ever shown us their bank account ever. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not, again, it's Why not a point. You? It's like, if right. anything, that's with the lender. Right. Right. Well, or if they're paying cash, I don't give a right. shit. Right. What well, you're I mean, we had a guy account. just show us a screenshot of his crypto account. Like, oh, here's yeah. how much money oh, I have. Wow. I can afford it. No, and that's okay, the thing. Great, good for you. When do you want to come and when do you want to come and go ahead? You're acting like we're on default when you say no, you can't afford it. And the funny thing is we're we're not. We're on default of like I am going to say yes until you give me a reason to say no. And by you showing me a picture of your balance, I'm gonna now say no because I know you're full of shit. Is the end goal just to drive it, you think? I think that's the they wanna come well some of those I think are actually scams trying to steal money Uh, from us. But yeah. a lot of them are literally, I just want to come see a cool car. Right. So they'll flash the bank account and say, I, I have the means potentially. Yeah. Let me drive it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. And I can easily Photoshop a bank oh, statement that says yeah. I have $20 million yeah. in the bank. Well, and like the funniest <laughs> part is the bank statement, they, the, the crypto account they showed us, they blocked out the name. <laughs> so it's like, well, bro, if it's you, I'm going to, I know, you know. Yeah. Don't block out the account number, block out the name. Yeah, blackout. Yeah, it's like come on. So, what other Lambos have you sold? I forget the Super G. Mine. Oh, Steve's, which was an easy. Steve's not a typical <laughs> Lambo customer. Yeah, yeah he's, true. He he was not a, no a typical any customer. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That was easy because he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I'm like, okay. There wasn't another Huracan. Nope, was we haven't. The only one? okay. We haven't sold a Huracan so, yet. All right, I mean, you might as well maybe try the uh, the Aventador. <laughs> You know. I think it's going to be worse. Yeah. Because now it's even more money. It's more money, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that 720S, which you thought would go. <laughs> so if I had it. asked if I could come pick a, up the car after I paid for it, that would be. No. You know that that's a dumb question or dumb <laughs> statement. No, of course, if you're going to pay for it, then we don't care. It was, they want, they're saying, I want to come see the car before they're like the thing is like people buying cars the first thing they ask is usually some sort of question about the car right Mm -hmm. there's very few times where someone is just i'm gonna buy the car 
no negotiation, no questions, no nothing, right? It doesn't happen. It doesn't ever happen that way. They always have a question about the car. They always want to negotiate. They always, certain things always happen. So when a conversation about a car starts off with, like, I'm going to buy it or I want to see it or whatever, it's immediately red flags. I, I, I will say that anytime I've bought a car, I, I mean, I'm, if, if you're looking at an expensive car, you already know what you're looking at. You've probably done your research. I just start with, when can I come look at it? Yeah. And whenever I say that, I've got money ready and I'm ready to buy the car. And yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. need to see it. But you also I, were calling, probably not texting on Facebook. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference to the tact. <laughs> yeah. Like the context yeah. is a little bit different, right? Like, yeah, I, I've called and been like, yeah. Well, like, I've called and literally been like, I, I will buy this car today if you can give me the right number mm -hmm. um but that's like you know i'm calling them and i'm being serious about it and we're actually talking numbers and stuff and so i've always just, in my experience it's been better to not start with a number before you've seen it only because if you give them a number you say, oh, I'll pay you 50000 for that car. Okay, cool. We have a deal. Then you get there and you're like, oh, well, I found this, this, and that. I'm only going to give you forty five. Then you just piss them off. Right? You do. That's why I like to look at it and then make the offer. That's just me. But Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've done that too, though. I've shown up yeah. and looked at that car and been like, this is not what you advertise, so I'm not willing to pay what yeah. I agreed upon. Yeah. And can they can take it or leave it at that yeah. point. And usually they'll take it because you're there. Yeah. That's the way I see it is you're putting a lot of pressure yeah. on them. They have a sale. That will go through right now if you meet these negotiation points. That's the bird in the hand instead of two in a bush. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, that's worked for me. And usually it's like stupid crap like, oh, hey, your tire, the tires are bad. You didn't disclose that. Like I asked you about it and you said they were fine and they're not. That's sort of dumb shit, right? Because yep. like usually I like... I always look at it this way is like if there's a price that I've agreed upon that's good enough where I want to go look at the car, I've baked in assuming that there's going to be shit wrong with it into that price. So long as there's nothing that exceeds that expectation for that price, I'm fine with it, right? Yep. I mean, that's that 458 I was trying to get from California. It was, I wanted to know the answer to one question before putting down payment on it from going out and looking at it and the guy well they they gave me three different answers and then you know the general manager's giving me another answer and you know he's showing me like videos of the car like making sure i'm not worried about paint chips I'm like no it's a 10 year old plus car like there will be paint chips i'm not worried about that i'm worried about the rockers that are repainted <laughs> like is it yeah. a wrap or is it paint it's different different like yeah, yeah and then they ultimately sold it at auction for less than i offered them so <laughs> cheers uh, yeah <laughs> snatching defeat out of yeah victory that, i i have to say that is one of the hardest most painful lessons we've had to deal with in the dealership so far is when you so like every time you list a car when you first list it it's brand new to the market whatever you inevitably get some serious offers but they're lower than you want yeah and you have to be able to step out of your like you know mental block of will i actually get a higher offer than this should i just take this and go with it yeah because there's been i mean great example the 720 when we first listed that we had offers that were higher than what we sold it for but less than what we wanted and if we had just been able to take that we'd be in a totally different position with that car than what it ended up at but and you'd still want to sell mclaren's <laughs> maybe. Well, maybe not with the 570 maybe not <laughs> maybe yeah the 500 was painful too yeah so but but that's like the, the lamborghini same thing when we first listed it we had some offers that were now higher than what it's listed at and it's like damn it but you know it's so hard because you just don't know and 
you got to play that game of like, okay, I got to, I got to try and get as much for my money as I can. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> how much is that? So, um, do you have any dealer relationships to do a dealer to dealer transaction to get more F cars when you're holding on to something too long? Not at this point, not really. Like we don't have like a, a sweetheart dealership arrangement where we'll, we'll just like swap cars or something. That'd be great. We should probably do that. It's hard to do with the cars that we're selling though. Yeah, it's it's not easy. Is that a bot? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, I just blocked it. <laughs> Didn't make its way on. Either. Yeah, it's like <laughs> stupid. Who's phone? Must be Josh. Must be Josh. No. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where it's coming from, then. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Oh, something in your house, then, because your headphones pick up oh, crazy it, far away. It could be because my microphone's separate from my headphones. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, kids are in the living room. Have you gotten close to finding an F8 worth oh, buying to flip? No. They're too expensive. It's, crazy. Yeah. it's too much risk for us at this point. Like yeah. the problem we have with an F8 is they're we're going to for a hundred grand over sticker. <laughs> yeah, they're going to they're they're going to cost us between four and six hundred thousand dollars, and that's a lot of money to tie up to only make probably about the same as what we make on a four five eight. Yep. So. So aside from the cool factor, it wouldn't get you. I don't much. know what the market is like for an F8 either. I don't know if people are trying to buy them or I don't. I have no idea. I mean, they seem to be selling pretty quick. You know, I I kind of watch it and they they are changing hands a lot. But yep, when Casey's done with one of his, hopefully I'm ready to make that purchase. Really, really, I've told him that. But... F8, you want that? So you're, you're I, I mean, I don't know. Together? I don't know if if I can afford it. I probably can't. So. That's a lot. That's, That's a, a lot. big difference. Yeah, that first number is going up by a lot. Yep. Are these, are these little bugs you're planting in his ear, Steve? Like, <sighs> no, not at all. <laughs> Actually, I thought he would go 720, not F8. Personally, oh, uh, true, true. Got to have an F carve at some point. <laughs> oh my goodness! I think I would like a 512 at some point. 512 TR? Mm. Yeah. You want a test huh? I And then I think of Richard's car and I go, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Do I want the headaches? Yeah. It looks so yeah. cool and it's so my yeah. advice, but. Yeah. You sat in it, you felt the position, right? It yeah, is. It's, it's unusual. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, so is the Lambo. You get used to it. Yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. 48 and clean 458 seem, prices seem to be pretty close. How do you think they'll be in the... How long do you think they'll be the case? I, I think that's... That's been like that for years. Yep. I don't know that's going to change. I mean, I think there is... Yeah, there there is a sweet spot and people love the 458. It is a highly desired... It is a unusually strongly desired Ferrari. I would say that it is more desired than a lot of the other models. It's such a sweet spot, you know. Yeah, it is in power, <clears throat> driving experience, in cost, engine, cost. Yeah. Naturally yeah. aspirated. Yeah, yeah naturally exactly. as, last the naturally aspirated, yeah. all that stuff. Chain driven, it, it, timing belt. Yeah, timing chain. <clears throat> it's a fantastic car. Mm -hmm. So really, really good chassis that they use for what three more generations. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Ferrari hit a home run in the 458. It's hard to really find much that you, most people wouldn't find much to not like about it. So, <clears throat> yeah. Been watching the normal guy conversion. When are we going to have the last part? Um, I believe a week from Sunday. So this weekend there will be, I think, four more parts of the series, and then next weekend there's four more parts. And then Wait, actual, no, actual no. 
final part will be probably a month or so from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> final adjustment part. Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> the only thing I don't like about the four eight is I don't own one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Same, same here. <laughs> I agree with that statement. Yeah. It's, yeah. There's, there's def- a 458 for 140. It's got to have a ton of miles or have title issues or something. Something's not right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Considering a lot of them are 240. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's my next two weekends booked. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear about that. It's, it's funny because, like, we've consciously decided you know like we consciously made those videos knowing they weren't gonna really get the views but yeah. i don't care it was Are they noticeably underperforming oh yeah yeah, yeah it's just it's like depre- i don't i hate i actually hate watching the data right now on the youtube uh-huh. channel because it just depresses me so like that kind of stuff i really enjoy and it's cool and it's fun and it's actually helpful to people and stuff yeah. and and it just the algorithm doesn't like it's it it's one of those things yeah. that like probably the people here are the ones who are watching it the diners, probably yeah you know yeah but, and it's you know you knew it was going to be useful for when the kits are sold yeah you know like it's one of those things where you almost needed to do it to be able to sell the kits and have people feel comfortable enough to try it themselves right so it's it's funny because like it was a necessary evil it's one of those things about us doing our youtube channel is we we aren't relying on youtube channel to pay uh, on the youtube channel to pay the bills so we can do stuff that we know isn't going to perform well because it doesn't matter so yeah yeah oh hey look they got me to subscribe and appreciate it love what you do nice thank you Good night, Cheryl. Good night, Cheryl. Yep. Good night. <laughs> it's oh. a cario. <laughs> oh. Run. Yeah, run. Run. Right. Don't buy Here, that one. Your yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you had to say. Yeah. Uh, yep. I definitely don't want that car. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anytime. Anytime there's a, uh, like, if you're a standard deviation off of the market, there is something wrong with that car, period. There's no way it's not. My kids are so low. Allison's not here, so I had to put them to bed, and they keep coming in here. That's why I keep getting up. (laughs) (laughs) That's all right. You're on daddy duty. Yeah, Yeah, daddy duty. Yeah. I was on daddy duty yesterday. Oh. Yeah, this week's been rough. This week's been... Yeah. Did I get the garage approved yet? Nope. I wonder that earlier in the video. Not so good. Well, we'll see. It's got 60,000 miles on it. I mean... Still too low for that. Yeah. I mean, 60 miles in good condition shouldn't be 140. Nope. If you go and look at it, it probably has paintwork and stuff, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure it's been in accidents and God knows how poorly it's been maintained. What is yep. Cario? It's a dealership in Florida. Florida. That we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, search search Dan's videos for Cario and watch the series and make your own decisions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feel free to make your own judgments. <laughs> X rental, yeah, yeah, that's possible. That's very likely. Yep. What? Especially in Florida. Oh, oh yeah. If it's a car from Miami yeah, or, or Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. or even said... or even like New York. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> Four, five, six. <laughs> all, all of them. All of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the three, five, five. Right well, I, I will have. To, it remains to be seen if we actually make any money on any of them. Yeah. <laughs> If we can make some money on the cars, then no. <clears throat> so we'll see. Yep. Well, and you agreed to sell a 458 at cost, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was fine. Um, I actually like the three five five that we got from him. Although yeah. I I don't like spiders, but it's a fun classic. But it's fun. Quintessential yeah. Ferrari. We're riding around today. I got the Ferrari tan up here. Yeah, we're <laughs> it's, it's actually around. really good looking in person. Yeah, it, it looks it better in person than it's, in the pictures. Yeah, I love I love the style of the three five. I like how small it is. When you it's see it in tiny. person, you're like, "Holy crap! Yeah. It's a small oh, yeah. car." Yeah, I mean, we're it going by so... semis. You feel like, "Oh shit!" Like, yeah, <laughs> kind of, yeah. it's kind of sketchy. No, I mean, way down here, it's it's endearing. You know, it's a, it's a car that, like, so long as you have the right mindset, you yeah. really enjoy driving it. Yep. You can't you can't go into driving a three five five thinking, "Oh, it's gonna be so fast and it's a yeah. Ferrari and blah blah." No, you gotta go into thinking, "It's thirty years old," and yeah only has like not that it only has 260 foot pounds of torque mm -hmm. it is not fast but sounds great it's, sounds it's good. you're gonna be able to drive it every like every single stoplight you're just like <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty much it's so engaging you're not like i mean at, at least as a passenger like i didn't wish it was faster I was still yeah, smiling. I'm like, still, yeah, I was still I wasn't, smiling. It wasn't like it was so slow that I was thinking about other things. Like you're still engaged with what's happening. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it takes your attention. Yeah, it takes your attention. It doesn't break that well. Yeah. And <laughs> handling's not that and great. Like, and <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's an old fry even with a gated shifter. So, you know, you're paying attention. And there's such a big gap between, you know, between shifts where like torque, 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 and then it's like nothing, and then torque, 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 and then nothing. So. That well, always helps. Let's be real. It's only two torques. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. It's only torque, torque parts. Torque, torque. torque. <laughs> yeah. You only get one Ago with that car. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then that sound every time, like we were, we pull up to a stoplight and there was a a, a beggar on the on the corner, oh, yeah. and he was all like, awesome. "It's like that's a sweet car, bro." And so I like revved it up a couple times. It's like, "Woo!" Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> It was such a cool it was interaction. funny. I was like, God, I love Austin. <laughs> My favorite 355, someone mentioned the Nicolas Cage chased down Sean Connery in one. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember in uh, GoldenEye 007. Huh. Uh, he was driving the DB5 and he was running down a 355. Mm. Oh. Remember that scene where they're racing don't. through the mountains? Yeah. I don't remember it being a 355. I went to watch it yeah. again. It was yeah, a 355 yeah. spider. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewatch that. Just that scene. Yeah. Uh, I was actually uh, when I was driving around today, I was thinking to myself, "Man, this thing came out the year I got my license." <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> like, oh wow, it's pretty ancient. And also, I was like, "Wow, I'm getting old." <laughs> but that was what fun. Ninety-seven. Six. Ninety-six. It's fun. It's fun. It's a great car. Like, if you're gonna buy a three five five, that's the one to get. Mm -hmm. Yep. But we'll see. I think we haven't sold it yet because I think the three five five market is just a limited pool. Mm. You know. Yeah. It's just it's just not that many buyers looking for three five fives. So, which makes me scared for the four fifty six. Yeah, Even but minute, right? the only thing about the 46 is we're gonna have basically the cheapest V12 gated manual Ferrari, like on the planet. Yep. So there is that. How does that feel in comparison to 355? I know it's a different car. The 456, yeah. completely different. Right. Like it's more GT. It's a GT car. Yeah. Total GT car. Yeah. It it's cushy and yeah. yeah. Nothing like the same. <laughs> no. Not at all. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. no. I don't like it. <laughs> don't say that until after we sell it. Yeah, right. I it's mean, the best car we've ever driven. <laughs> you know. I can see why people like them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the V twelve's impressive. It does have a lot of torque. Yes. 
Once we figured out how to like sit slouch in the seat yeah. and make it comfortable, yeah. it was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're talking. That was weird. Like you really, you have to, you can't sit like upright okay. in the seat. Yeah, your butt has to be like at a forty-five. Why? What does that change? It's, the, it, the the way the cushion was, it like kind of digs into your butt a little bit. Uh-huh. So if you slouch, it changes the position okay. of your ass on the seat, and you felt like so That's we're both you're like driving. I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> At lunch, Kuvi's like, hey, what do you think of the car? And we're both like, ah, the seats kind of suck. Like, it digs into your side. And he's like, oh, you just got to sit on it like a toilet. And yeah, and we didn't quite comprehend what that meant until like two hours after lunch when it was like, oh, if I, oh, if I slouch and like squatty potty sit, like, oh, yeah, now this is nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the rest of the drive, we're both like way down yep. here. Like, you know, oh, yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Would the car you delivered to a celebrity recently initials be JR? Jackie Robinson? Yeah. Jackie Robinson? Holy shit. I don't know he's in Austin. Wow. At least, he, LOL, Squatty he said Squatty Potty. He, he, he literally said that to us. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's true. Yep. You can add front end lifts <clears throat> aftermarket. Yeah. Hmm. They're pretty expensive. Yeah. What would that be, Kyle? Like ten? Uh, I think they're in for the F twelve, probably. Probably. Mm-hmm. You have to do a whole new strut and everything for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, it has a. Uh, you have to have like a hydraulic system added to it. Can you do it. that to uh, any car, or just just, um, just like? I mean, if they make them for that car. Yeah. yeah how much money do you have? Yeah. Right. <laughs> just, right. just so people aren't lost on that. Here you go. <laughs> sponsorship yeah dang it i actually have one of those they're amazing i highly recommend that. oh yeah you, you just try it it's life changing no i'm sorry hold on correction those of you in europe already know this but those of us in america are dumb and don't do this buy a bidet <laughs> it is the best thing on earth I love it. Also, so I've heard. Dude, yep. changes your life. Now, the question is heated water or no heated water? Unfortunately, I don't have heated water, but honestly, your butt's not that sensitive. True. Like, it's not like washing your hands. When you have cold water in your hands, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, your butt's kind of like, ah. I took like, a cold plunge <laughs> shower this morning here just to wake up. Oh, you did? Because we got in yeah. super late last night. So, like, barely slept. So this morning we showered and I just put it all freezing and I was like, <laughs> Ooh. but it woke me up. I bet. Yeah. I can't do that. I hate cold I showers. Had to. Mm. No, no. Yeah. Normal guy super bidet. Yeah. <laughs> Normal guy super bidet. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to say anything. I just, I did just get a colonoscopy. It was, uh, I'll see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Heated water is life changing. That, that's all I had when I was in Japan. Was every toilet had heated oh, water? No, no. The, the toilets in Japan. Yeah. Oh, they're next level. It's next level. They like, open the lid the as you walk into the room, yeah. and dude, yeah. even in the it's airport. Here. Yeah. No, I wanna. I'm gonna spend. Look, if I ever remodel my house or buy a house from scratch, I'm buying Toto toilets. Yep. In the entire house. Yep. Who cares? If they're ten thousand dollars each. Yeah. Do I it. No, yeah. it's worth it. Worth no, it. I I agree with you on that. You spend a lot of time of your life yeah. on the crapper. <laughs> it's called a throne for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's life changing. I mean, I'm telling you, man. No, seriously, that was the first time I ever used one was uh, when we were uh, flying out to out east or whatever. I don't know, east, uh, whatever. Anyway, like, I think it was a layover in Japan. Mm hmm. And you go, you go to the toilet in the bat in the airport, and you're like, "Oh my god! Like, look at all the buttons on this thing!" And that was amazing. And also, their doors were floor to ceiling. You have 100 yeah. percent so privacy. So there's no, yeah. there's no <laughs> gaps. Like it's it's almost so got like weather there. stripping. Like you don't even have like fumigation issues. It's like no, this is all I, you. I used to work at a company where the the bath, the public bathroom 
the gap was so big that the way people would tell if someone was in the stall would be to look. Yeah. <laughs> like, and make you know, eye contact. Would look into if the you stall. Can make, if you can make you eye con contact, it's yeah. like, no. There, there's wallet. hilarious threads on Reddit about privacy strips and people like hanging toilet paper over and getting fired for wasting resources. Oh, look oh it up. If God. you need a good laugh, look it up. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. Total toilets for the win. But since I don't want to spend $10,000 and I don't want to remodel my bathroom right now, yeah. you can get a little add on bidet for like 30 bucks. Yep. Worth it. <laughs> the only problem is uh, this happened at our old house. We had the bidet on our old toilet and we had a friend come visit and they'd never seen one. Oh, no. And the first thing they do is they crank the knob <laughs> without sitting down on the toilet. <laughs> Oh no. oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, you gotta be sitting down. Like, I uh, wanted to see it, not use it. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh lord. Uh, yeah, anyone who's been to Japan and used the Toto toilet is like, they get it. Yep. They know. They know. Yes. I'm just saying, squeaky clean, man. That's too much. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well done. I don't know why the fountain is so low to the ground. <laughs> it's a boot washer. <laughs> yeah. a boot washer. Drink, drink while you're on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So we've covered butts yeah uh what's next <laughs> talked about a lot of stuff tonight yeah it was mostly car we've been pretty yeah. good yeah hugh's not here though to, to rein us back oh, yeah. in oh uh, that's true i'm waiting for that Where is he? gabe are you having second thoughts what, what, like i know it's churning through your mind right now so yeah. <laughs> that's why he's know. been I quiet any, yeah. i don't want to make you want to jinx it yeah. One step at a time. It's fair. Yeah. It's a big commitment. Oh, yeah. It is. This is the first one. So it's a totally different experience than you've been through it a handful of times. Mm. Yeah. So. How is the scene in Austin with NASCAR in town? Oh, is it in town? I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I don't so think it's this week. Is that this weekend? I think it's this weekend, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Well. No way I could. We're already busy. I gotta. So we're flying. We're Can flying out. No, not with my wife. We got other commitments here. I'm going to the race. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you are. Yeah, I'm going on Saturday. I wish nice. I didn't know. Is are they race on Saturday and Sunday, or is I don't even know to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like I got VIP tickets. Casey hooked it up, so I, we're gonna go and check it out. The main race is on Sunday. They'll have another race on Saturday, yeah. and, and I think they do quals on Friday, right? Okay. okay. All I've heard is that it's actually really entertaining because they're not used, used to, to road courses. Mm -hmm. I've heard mm -hmm. that too. There's a lot of wrecks and stuff. They have to turn left and right. <laughs> yeah. Which is complicated. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to go at some point, but what will be worth more in 10 years? Aventura SVJ or A12 GTS? A12 GTS. Yep. 100%. Total confidence on that. Uh, oh, that's true. They do have some F1 drivers mm -hmm. and Indy drivers. Yeah, Kimi Raikkonen racing that at one point or now. And then Jensen Button, I think, is also. Jensen Button's driving? Oh, well, I don't know if it's in this race, but oh, I've just I mean, heard he's getting involved in, I think, in NASCAR hmm. in some capacity. I liked him as a driver in F1. Yeah. I met him at the Four Seasons in Austin. Really? Nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Will the F430 service be available to consumers? I don't know what you mean by service. There's... Yeah. Yes, you can have EAG install the conversion in your car. Service. <laughs> Concierge service, belt service, timing belt service, timing chain service. What type of service are we talking here? There's a lot of services. I think he was asking whether you're going to convert cars for people. 
Oh. Am I going to do an F430 conversion service? For a lot of money, maybe. <laughs> for, for more than EAG. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, yeah. Josh and I discussed that. It's about two weeks, two, three weeks time, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. I would, I would do a conversion for more than EAG charges because it's going to be done faster. Yeah, you Well, the other thing is, the other thing is, if I'm going to do a conversion uh, for someone that's not us, um, I'm not going to give them a choice. We're going to change out everything yeah. that needs to happen because I think it's the right way to do it. Yep. Like you don't have a choice. You're changing the engine mounts. You're changing the trans mount. You're changing, you know, you're doing a clutch. You're doing, you're, you're doing an e diff delete. Bearing. Yeah. Changing. Yeah. The, the e diff delete was good, man. I was worried yeah. about that, that everything would line up and wiring and then, and, and the module and stuff. Yep. It worked great. Yeah. Took the way to, we took the way to do it. 90 pounds out of my car. Wow. 90 pounds out of the car. It's like worth 10 horsepower right there. Yeah. 90 pounds yeah. with what was the most heaviest thing that came out? Probably the F1 pump and all that stuff. But then the, yeah. the next heaviest things were, you know, newer headers were lighter and yeah. cats were heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was mostly the F1 system, the squid, the pump, the ac accumulator, all the fuck, all the wires. That whole corner is open now. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing there. It's hilarious. It's yeah. We just zip tied up all the wires and tucked it underneath. You could put like a small microwave in that spot. <laughs> you, that's where you put the air horn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. The compressor for the air oh, horn can go those, in there. Those, uh, those you could definitely balls. do that. Those yeah. extinguisher balls, Steve. I'm you sorry. Could hang, you could hang one of those fire extinguisher balls in there. <laughs> The only did, problem is you really should be hanging them over the fuel cells. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah what did you guys end up doing for the air intakes? Remember, they have the little yep. things. Yep. We got rid of them. We cut them we off. Cut Actually, them off, they're in the, video. I, yeah, I, in the video. I, I used the aluminum tape, like you said, okay. initially. And then I, I wrapped them with um, just so it wouldn't see silver. Not that you saw it because it's all hidden anyway. But yeah. for me, mentally, I didn't want to see silver. So I just wrapped it with hockey tape. Okay, cool. And honestly, the exhaust is so loud, I can't even tell if it made a difference. Yeah, <laughs> I think you can. Uh, as a passenger, like hearing, you could hear more air intake. You can, yeah, just just slightly, and it's it's until that exhaust becomes so loud that you can't hear. Anything then it overpowers it. But in the intro, like when you're putting your foot into it, you hear a little bit more whooshing sound, and then it just good. exhausts. Well, that's it. what I wanted. But. Yeah, it sounds good. More it'd be like. cool. It'd be cool to do one to a completely stock car to see what it sounds like. It would, yeah, yeah, stock exhaust that's quieter and you could really see. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, we are not going to sell the manual kits directly at this point. Um, EAG, I, I talked about this earlier in the video, EAG placed a massive order for kits and the order after a month and a half just got randomly canceled by the manufacturer. So it's going to be a little bit before there's more kits available, unfortunately. A good portion of that 90 pounds did come from the right rear passenger corner because that's where the F1 pump is. Uh, the squid is attached to the tranny. So that central weight that was removed, and then the rest of it would be centralized because it was exhaust and cats. Yeah. So the portion, it was probably about 40 pounds probably from that corner. Um, I didn't notice any difference in the, how the car handled. I mean, when the car came from the factory with a manual, it's not going to be there either. So I'm right. sure. Yeah. Well, it did have, the car came with an F1 pump and accumulator for the E-diff. Oh, that's true. So some of that weight would have been there. Yeah. But a 360 wouldn't. Correct. This yeah. 360 doesn't have that there. So, and they're pretty much the same uh, chassis. Yeah, I think the probably the F1 stuff is maybe 20 pounds. Was it only 20? I'm guessing it's about 20 pounds. Okay. Mm. Which has a better feeling, manual F430 or Gardo? I haven't driven a Gardo manual. I haven't driven a Gardo manual yet, so I can't say. I mean, I had my R8 manual, which is the same thing, and that transmission was pretty awesome, I have to say. I would say they're which, pretty similar. Which felt better. I, I know people don't want to hear it, but I think the Audi felt better. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gated, it was a gated, you know, manual and it just it felt awesome. Hmm. It really felt good. But so does the 430, so <laughs> it's different. Yeah. It's different. Now he's backpedaling. Look at that. Yeah. 
Trino it's totally book. different. I'm about to like, I'm a, I need a stamp that's like traitor and just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're still on for five minutes, Travis. Uh, the Gyarados, I guess they are newer. They came out in 04, right? Yeah, but yeah, I don't 04. think it's, it's not oh, a German but, transmission though. It's a, it's a Graziano. So it's an Italian transmission in the Audi. True. Graziano. Yeah. <clears throat> Why is he asking if we're still live if he's watching? Good point. Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Travis, come on, use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it because I know him. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Good. Ah, the car. Very good. You should just get an RS7. Yeah. Ooh. Those are dope. Mm -hmm. They are. I don't like Audis. Like <laughs> that came up at, at the Howard. I am not an Audi fan. Wah, wah, wah. I know you love them. <laughs> I love Audis. Yeah, um, I'll never get I've had, it. I've had many Audis. <laughs> I like BMW like more than Audi. Oh God. Oh well, yeah. Hmm. Old BMW. Depends. An older BMW. Depends. Either BMW not in five yeah. or something. Okay. Or I do not like the brand new BMWs. Yeah. They look terrible. The new they, ones are bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. And ever since they like couldn't figure out how to make like proper main bearings on engines, it's like. Did you guys yeah. forget how to do this? Because, <laughs> like, yeah, everyone else figured out how to do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, don't Meg talk to Meg about the Audi. Meg, who doesn't care about oh. cars at all, will rock that one. No, she <laughs> hates the R8 for that reason. Oh, dude, yeah, Why did she like, hate the R8? Because it should not have been Iron Man's car. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. No, it's true. It's, That's it's, bullshit. It's a damn good point. It is. You're the richest man in the world, according uh, to that yeah. universe. And the car you choose to buy is the an R8. Audi R8. Give well, you know R8. who else drives the R8 is that guy from um, Fifty Shades of Grey. He has an R8. Yeah, he has all also, Audis. Also bullshit. No. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. At a minimum, yeah. Pagani, Koenigsegg, something crazy. Give me a break. If you're the richest man in the world, and you're a baller like Iron Man. Product in the placement. Car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When Audi pays you millions of dollars to exactly. feature their. <laughs> yeah. That's the only, only reason that Iron Man drives an Audi R8 is because Audi paid a. There's a good of the money. When I had my 360 and I had my RS6 right here. Nice. And it's an S4 Avant right there. Nice. <laughs> As a terrible combination of cars. <laughs> no way. That was awesome. I had a, it was a good car for everything I needed. Yep. Why did you get rid of the 360, Josh? Did you? I don't know. Two, or you just because I got the R8. Move a car. Uh, <laughs> I wanted an early S4 so bad, like the early 2000s, I should say. Yeah, mine oh. was an 01. Yep. Uh, Six speed with uh, with the twin turbo. Those look so good. I will. I will say this. Elon is no longer the richest man in the world, so it doesn't matter what piece of shit he drives now. Yeah. <laughs> There's a better picture of my S4. Nice. Uh. Yep, that, that's the last good looking Audi, in my opinion. And I'm also going to say this Elon has like Spectrum. Elon. So. Elon. No, it's Elon. That's actually it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> uh, says, I've Elon. never heard anybody pronounce it like yeah. that, but okay. No, like, I thought it was Elon is like what it's actually supposed to be, but maybe, maybe well, I heard it wrong. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't really. He's one of those people I don't really care about. It's kind of like whatever. He can do what he wants. Yep. I still want to go down and watch one of the Starship launches, though. I want. We're only four I, hours away. I'm so sad that I never got to see any of the uh, Saturn Fives. No. I know. Yeah, that would have been so cool. Yeah. I'll give you guys Star one. Starship will be close second, though. One yeah. more picture for you guys. That was my R8 and the 360. Nice. Oh, you had both at the same time? I did, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. Is that black? No, it was uh, gray. So that's acceptable. I'll, I'll go with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, nice. that's acceptable. It's a good color for that car. Yeah. One minute. Get your questions in. Oh, I lied. 
Yep. It's very right. wow. Absolutely, Tom. One of these days when they start doing it. Road trip with the All McLaren. Right. All right, everyone. I'm I'm gonna be Johnny on the spot. Nine thirty. Done. Well, we got thirty <laughs> seconds. Yeah. No, no, it's nine thirty right now. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, the the timer is the timer. short. You you started thirty oh, seconds. I started thirty late. seconds. Fine. I'm gonna uh. wait till exactly that. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that ready. Oh, John. I I would rather watch the launch, Weber. I want to see a launch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good movie, but. It is a good movie. It is a good movie. But All to right, see yeah. the, the thing come back down and catch it, man. I'm going to cut fun. you off if you're talking, right? Yep, go ahead. Do it. I, uh, <laughs> five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. Three, two, two, two Bye, everyone. One. Bye. Bye.